So what we did in the study was we used climate models in a different way. Rather than include absolutely everything into the climate system that could be important, we've removed certain parts of the climate system, in particular the ocean circulation, and say, how much can we explain without that? And it turns out that you can explain a lot without that. And the reason is because the atmosphere is the main driver of these changes in the climate models. And the ocean circulation may be playing a role, but it's probably not first and foremost. The Atlantic Ocean has warmed over the past century due to greenhouse gases, and that part is well understood. But in this study, what we're looking at are changes about that human-caused trend that occur from decade to decade. And the ocean circulation has been thought to be the main driver of those changes. The power of the idea of the ocean circulation as a driver is that if that is what's happening in the real world, it produces some predictability. We can take what's happening with these slow changes in the ocean circulation and predict what might happen a decade from now. Now that is obviously a very desirable outcome if we can do that, but what our study suggests is that that may not be the case. 